Now, why does this matter in terms of giraffe? Let me explain something about giraffe. As mentioned, I've studied giraffe for over 20 years. So important to understanding this is realizing some facts about giraffes. First of all, most adult males live alone. Secondly, the adult females spend most of their time with their family and their friends. Third, when giraffes are moved from country to country, more often than not, the family bonds are broken. Mothers are separated from their children. The family structure is torn apart when giraffes are moved. Fourth, if one goes back 250 years, and I repeat, 250 years, and goes through all of the written historical records, those are from explorers, from missionaries, from the hunters, there is not a single written record of giraffes in Eswatini, it wasn't Eswatini 250 years ago, but there's no record of them in that area until the 1960s when populations were introduced. Whether we are talking about articulated giraffes, Angolan giraffes, South African giraffes, Maasai giraffes, Ordofan giraffes, or any other subspecies of giraffes, there is absolutely no evidence they ever lived in Swaziland. Next, the IUCN Red List recognizes this. They list all of the giraffes in Swaziland as introduced. In other words, the giraffes that are supposed to be going to Taiwan are descendants of introduced giraffes. They are not from Swaziland. Sixth, genetic analysis has shown that the Southern African giraffes that were brought in to the Mbuluzi Game Reserve in Swaziland in the 1990s are highly inbred, and they are more closely related to each other than the wild reticulated giraffes in Kenya. I'll come back to this point later, but it's important to recognize the giraffe in Swaziland are closely related to each other and inbred. Next, which a statement that was made before and it's absolutely true, reticulated giraffes only live in Somalia, Ethiopia, and Kenya. As was mentioned, I was part of the team that put together the Red List assessment in 2016. There were 18 of us on the team. It took us a few years to put together the report. We had field experience in every country with giraffes and reticulated giraffes only live in Somalia, Ethiopia, and Kenya. Well, it turns out there's only about 100 of them now, or even fewer, in Somalia. There's only about 100 or fewer in Ethiopia. All the rest are in Kenya. And when the numbers are added up, it turns out that there are only about 3,000 to 6,000 breeding age females in the wild. A maximum of 6,000 breeding age reticulated giraffe females in the wild. That's it, 6,000. The IUCN Red List classifies giraffes as vulnerable to extinction. Among the subspecies, the reticulated giraffe are considered endangered, which means as a subspecies, they're more threatened with existence than the combined group of all the nine subspecies.
the importation of a species that is threatened with extinction, such as giraffes, which are listed on CITES Appendix 2, is not only a violation of the CITES agreement, but it directly conflicts and contradicts with the official position of the Bureau of Foreign Trade and the Forestry Bureau in Taiwan. And I can't emphasize that enough because what is apparent is two government agencies are ignoring their own mission to follow the CITES agreement, even though they are not signatories, by signing off on bringing in an endangered species to Taiwan.